Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Jared. Did you guys know that Google gets 63,000 searches per second? We want to talk about how can you get in front of some of those people who are searching through Google. So here we are at the website audit. What we want to do is talk about how do we find our competitor, explain three ways that you can also be landing on the front page of Google for different keywords, talk about which keywords we want to be targeting, and then overall, how do you get your website to rank and perform? All right, so for finding the competitors today, we went ahead and searched for Photographers Omaha. It's going to be pretty general. It's going to, um, you know, you can narrow it down. You see here family, wedding, wedding, studio, um, so things like that, engagement. So we know that there's other niches that we can narrow down on, uh, but with, this is just kind of an example. There is a lot of opportunity here in Omaha, especially uh, when you're looking at how many people are actually here in town. So Sarah Rogers is sitting at the top of the map pack. When we want to get ranked in the map pack, we want to have our name, address, and phone number on as many directories around the internet as possible. What that's going to do is verify our information with Google, and it's also going to allow us to get found for more keywords as they scrape the internet, uh, because each one of those is going to have a description, which is going to help get us found for those keywords. There is not an ad being run here, but that is another way. You go ahead and put yourself an ad right here in the map pack. And then up here, obviously, those are ads as well. Here in the organic section, this is where we want to rank the website itself. So the website needs to be getting ranked by getting found for the keyword through having content on the website, through naming your photos. And then once we get found for those keywords, we're going to build up our backlink and domain profile and start to push ourselves to the top of the ranking, outranking the competitors by doing the same thing that they do. And we'll explain all that as we go. Uh, but so as we go down here, the not thumbtack yelp expertise.com these are all those directories peer space twice there um, and so we're going to outrank all of those right and so what we want to know is what is the other actual companies doing um, that are actually trying to get ranked so this guy's way down here so here's the website here as we go through here we just want to kind of see a couple things if we can just go in and grab um, and see how much content on the page we just kind of want to know so they're at 601 it pulls up on a different screen um, but they're at 601 words for the entire page here. So we really would like to see that above a thousand. So there's an opportunity to capitalize there. Uh, but the second thing here is as we come in and save an image, Thim Thumb or Tim Thumb. Uh, so you really want to save all of our images as keywords, and that's just going to help build out that keyword profile, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the back side of the website and see what that says. So this is a tool called AREFs that we actually pay for uh, for the full version, but you can go ahead and get for a uh, cheaper or maybe even a free version, I'm not sure. Um, but right here is the organic traffic that they're getting. So they're getting 2.7 thousand traffic per month by getting found for 300 keywords. So we're going to take a look at those keywords. Uh, they're getting 132 domains, 11 no, 1.11 thousand, uh, so, you know, 1.1 thousand backlinks. And then right here is going to be the overall, um, you know, ratings that they have. So this here is the actual homepage because that's what we punched in. And then this right here is going to be the entire website with all of its back pages taken into account. Um, that's going to be the entire website ranking. So, you know, not too high of competition, but definitely have uh, they do have some sort of intention here to be ranked. So you can see right here, all of these images or all these words that I went ahead and highlighted here, these are all the words that they're getting found for and are driving into the most traffic. This is not by accident. You can see that every single one of these has the word Omaha in it. Every single one of them is going to be kind of diversifying for all the different types of photography that they offer. Right here is going to be the overall search volume that you have the potential to capture. Obviously, nobody's going to capture all of it but you can just kind of see the ratios if we are ranking number one here. So out of 3,600, getting about 1,300 of those. Out of 1,000, we're getting 362 of those. Uh, so photographer Omaha. So she's there's 5,800 people each month searching that. She's ranked all the way down at number six, which is what we typed in, right? And she's getting 245 a month off of that word alone. So you really just kind of driving up those specific keywords uh, and we have strategies for doing all that. But you can see, you know, she's ranked on the first page for all of these words. And she is driving traffic for all of them. And they just add up, right? So this is each and every month, these numbers. Uh, so we're just trying to get your website and get your business out in front of these people is the whole goal. All right, so here we are on your website. The first impression I have, um, you know, I just kind of feels 1990-ish, I guess. Like, you know, these square boxes up here. Um, you know, just kind of updating the website and bringing it into the 21st century. 
um, would do a lot for you. I think as we save images, wedding photography, so that's, that's a good example of what you should be doing, right? Um, but portraits would be a bad example. We need to have portrait photography, Omaha. Um, try this one again. So Omaha photography, not bad. You know, so personally, my preference is to have a keyword. So creative wedding photography is great in Omaha, Nebraska is perfect. Right, right there is exactly what I would have. And then I would have right before the size here, maybe your, your actual company name. Let's go ahead and jump right into the back side of the website. The only thing, you know, as we go through this, um, what? Got a picture of Biden? Look at you go. Um, the only thing I see as we look through this, you know, is just kind of updating the format, you know, saving all the pictures as uh, keywords and then building out some more content would be beneficial, um, but you seem to have a fair amount uh, already. So let's jump into the back side of the website here. All right, so here we are on the back side. This is a tool called AREFs uh, right here. So you guys can go ahead and use the same tool. It just pulls traffic and all of the stats from other websites, um, you know, just organically. So right here you can see you're getting 3.4 thousand traffic. You're getting found for 194 keywords. Somebody obviously is helping you with backlinks. You have 76 referring domains reaching back out to you 958 times, right? So this right here, this is going to be the, the kind of generalized grade that you get for the website. This right here is the home page itself, and this is the entire web page or the entire website as a whole. So all of the back pages, all of the everything associated with this domain. So let's jump into the keywords here real quick and see what we're getting found for. So you can see that you are getting, um, obviously you're getting help with this, right? So you're getting found for a lot of really good keywords. So photographer Omaha, senior pictures Omaha, professional photographers Omaha, things like that. Uh, so we really want to just kind of keep up that. We want to kind of find our weak spots and then push those to put them all up at the top, right? So we don't want to have this kind of array of a lot of different numbers. This is an ongoing campaign, and you should constantly be pushing up all of these keywords to try and put them all at number one. So overall, you are ranking all of these on the top page. You just want to kind of go in and hone that and push the rest to the top and get a few more links, um, you know, to kind of solidify that lead. So here's your domains that you're actually getting found for. So as we go out and try and look for competitors to outrank, uh, we want to be careful of a few things. We have more than one tool that we use to make sure we're getting the right kinds of backlinks. But, you know, you want to pay attention to the Google Trust right here. So if we just come in, you can see that a lot of these are low. You have one that's really high. Uh, this one's kind of medium, right? So really want to pay attention to the kinds of websites that we're reaching out to. Um, reaching out to these blogs is not great, but reaching out to local websites would be beneficial. So it's kind of a give and take. You have to take it as each one of these individually. I would avoid things in Europe and other countries um, unless you're doing business there you know, with your traveling. So the other thing we want to look at is the actual do follow links if they are giving us credit. Always be skeptical of these first few at the top. They are giving a lot of do follows. But a lot of times those are spammy, right? So we got to be careful of that. And you can see that all of those websites are ranking pretty low. So, you know, just kind of coming in and managing some of this would help boost some of those levels, which again would help rank your keywords higher. All right, that is all I've got for you. I hope that was helpful in some way. You know, I know you guys are getting help with this, but, you know, if you have any questions or if you'd be interested in uh, using us to help kind of solidify that lead, please reach back out to me. My name is Jared402. 515-7222. Thanks, guys.